Nobody can't drown me, oh, trust me. Nobody can't steal my joy and my humbleness. Oh, the blood clot, ass clot. I fuck you, man, I'm dog. I'm here, video too. We're here to talk about some comments that I see posted from our athlete, our own kind, our Jamaican. Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about one of squash friends getting arrested in Jamaica. I want to know the big song with squash have named Big Breeze. I want to know the youth will love to talk about, yeah, we're up in a them town. Well, that guy was actually arrested, my people. And you don't know, I have some footage for sure, no? Because the person who I record it, I say, yo, the police, them not like when the young youth, them have things on them someday. So what about it? Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel, Baby Mother, Shorty, reacting after Vibes Cartel. You don't know them, they did like a pregnancy thing announced because yesterday she did actually dip on TikTok live and some people have come over there with the whole argument and you know she has sent a warning about black and cement and all them things. They use it, my people. So she also not in Jamaica, my people. Shorty left Jamaica. So I'm going to play the video so you can hear what Shorty have to say. Is it? Also, I'm going to talk about reggae artist Bugle, this in the Jamaica star for posting about Amari, this in Cartel. Also, I'm going to talk about Spice defending Janelle Bromfield after she was recently attacked by Jamaicans. Also, I'm going to talk about Popcorn spotted in Portland, but somebody has video the entertainer and them say Range Rover breakdown. You understand my people? So, what about it? And also, I'm going to talk about ex police and sting promoter Isaiah Leng. Page has been hacked. Also, I'm going to talk about Vibes Cartel shows footage with him on his way back to Jamaica with his attorney, wife, and Marlon Samuels. And also, I'm going to talk about Chanel Muir, ex-man Travis, says that he misses her, my people. Yes, yes. So before I'm going to further into the topics, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And click the notification bell. Put it on all. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. So the first thing we're going to talk about are the youth named Pops YG getting arrested, my people. Zane. And as I said, this youth, a theme voice on the hearing of the squash song named Big Breeze. A matter of fact, let me run a little part of it so you can, you know, kind of hear what I talk about. Blood, Big Breeze! Blood clock in the chart, it's up and hide, bro. Hide them, hide! Bad boy, where are they? I'm not done! I'm not done! Chuck your best size up there and get woof! I see Freddy here. I'm not f***ing that boy. I'm not a rich boy. Yeah, man, so that part, the way I talk about Lone Big Breeze up in a them town or whatever I'm saying at the song. Plus, we see him go so boom and post up a video on him TikTok page that show him and squash. It kind of seem like them they on FaceTime. You know, they have a conversation, a video call or whatever, zine. So, you know, as a youth where rate squash and obviously squash rate him squash, use him voice in a song and the little talk where he make go viral. Anyway, we see a footage you now where the youth get arrested and thing my people, is it? Very unfortunate situation. The person who I recorded, I said the police, them not like we see young youths have things because the youth goes a boom and buy a Benz, nice Benz. And, you know, you don't know him always a show it off and why do you even get crashed and some people are rejoice over it, you know. The youth goes a boom and fix him Benz, same time. Yeah, understand my people anyway check out that clip here with pops yg i get arrested my people and only can tell me when you're thinking in the comment section is it mm -hmm. oh the blood clot ass clot i fuck you man the mother dog i mean i video too i don't give a f i fuck you man the mother dog fuck me now what you know no? the man car brand new where you forget to pay the car brand new eh? I'm 
Alright, my people, so that's what's going on. You see it, and a lot of persons that say, Yo, Pops YG too hype and him love show off him Benz. And yo, the youth young, you know, you see me, I don't even know him. They even look like Pops YG reach 28. You see me, or maybe the young, the oldest symbol, I mean, maybe about 21. I'm not trying to worry about a man age, but the youth young and him enjoy him life. Nothing wrong with that still, you understand? Big up Pops YG and, you know, just go on dating youth. And, you know, the only thing you have to watch out for are the haters, them, and man, come try, you know. And alive you over your own things, car. Bad mind is active, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Next thing we're going to talk about is Shati, who is not in Jamaica right now, my people. Shati is actually, well, she not say what she did, but she says she's not in Jamaica. I'm not sure if it's America, but she is somewhere else in the world. You understand? So, you don't know she did on TikTok live yesterday. And it's like the people that come over there with the argument. Can remember yesterday, Vibes Cartel make a video with his fiance, her wife, right? And basically, he must say, yo, you know, him, him, she pregnant. <laughs> you understand? And are they, well, the bad mind people that carry the belly. So you know, say, people are going forward on Shorty live with that. It's right? You know, people are going to show her. But she has a warning, say, yo, the people are tread lightly because the moderator them, nah, hitch for black them. You understand me? I say, also, she react to like a comment that where somebody has said, Shorty, you know, make them jar out, you know. And Shorty, you know, make the people them know, say, oh, you can't jar out. Nobody can steal our jar. You understand, my people? When she said that, we don't really know if, you know, I can't tell them shout out about I shout out about the people them who come on our page, but she can make it be known that no one can steal her jar. Big up Shorty still, is it? Anyway, my people, check out that clip here. And as usual, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Mm. That is a warning, people to tread lightly, moderate, and I'm around for black. Which one, my day? My day said I want to stand up. But, um, my day somewhere, why would I just give out my location just like that, though? My day somewhere in the world, my day at Jamaica, though. So, my own owner be there and nothing, hurry up and run, come. I'm going to get a rag and a soap, a black. To go beard. When you get the rug and the soap, then when you get the black. So you know that that means go beard before enough. Yeah. So moderator, give them a rug and a soap first. When you up them, yeah, you. And then black them. Tell them to go beard and black them so they don't come back. You have to fresh you come over here. <coughs> I, I don't know where it's NC. I'm not in Jamaica. NC must be at home or something like that. Nobody can draw me out, trust me. Nobody can steal my jar and my humbleness. Big up yourself, you know. Big up yourself. All right, my people. So that's what's going on. Big up shot to wherever you're in the world. You don't know it, no matter where people come on your page with. Yeah, just block them if you want to block them. And, oh, she private her page, I think, you know, because of the bag of people who have flack her page with cartel name and for mix up on them thing. You see me? Over there, it was actually a thousand people over there. You know? When me go up on the live, I think a thousand people, me see, 1.1 K or something like that. And from me see so much people over there, you know, me know say the people, they might lay wait some farm and mix up over there, you know, so you don't know me just there and go and watch and observe. Me no comment on them thing there. Me know say something did I go get said. But anyway, my people, I know the full life this. Me have a other piece which me go talk about in our next video. But let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is reggae artist Bugle calling out the Jamaica star for posting about Amari dissing um cartel. You understand me and some people. So let me get to this story. Only can tell me if you don't feel like the Jamaica star shouldn't be posting about Amari completely because, you know, she says some disrespectful thing about Vibes Cartel. 
Anyway, this is what the story is saying. Zayn, Bugle calls out the Jamaica Star for a post of Amari bashing cartel. On Friday, the Jamaica Star shared audio of Amari detailing her views on Vibes Cartel not releasing new music and his king status. According to Amari, Vibes Cartel needs to fight for the king position and she's willing to challenge. What about the entertainment? The people have been waiting for the music. I don't think that Vibes Cartel should just come out of jail and get back on the dancehall seat. He needs to fight for that position. I want him to take off the dark glasses, look me in the eyes, and spit lyrics. She stated, despite her latest comments, the USA-based dancehall personality has shared mixed views on, on Vibes Cartel, having recently fantasized about taking over Sidem Spot and performing on his upcoming show. Nevertheless, her latest demand is for him to walk through the ghettos of Jamaica. In the comments area of the post, which was which was an interview premiered by the star, Bugle called out the publication for promoting such content instead of his new music. At the Jamaica Star, I drop a new album today. It is too positive for you people to talk about it. He asks, Bugle new album, which has 16 tracks, is titled Pex. The project features artists such as Ras Shaddai, Bujabantan, Junior Gang, Capleton, Tifa, Maxi Priest, Chaps, Military Man, Barrington Levy, and others. Release on Friday, August 23rd, 2024. So people, you can go check out Bugle new album, you can go buy it, support it. Bugle make good music, talented entertainer, and guess what? Him now in the bag of mix-up. Any more people, separately from that, when you think about Bugla, say Amari should not be featured in the Jamaica Star page. Now, when them post that article, right, in our time, it was almost at a thousand comments. So, you can tell the, the type of traction where that got cause. Of course, the Jamaica Star knows say Amari name with cartel and the type of things where she has to draw traction to them page. And obviously, it's going to bring more views because... More traction equal more views equal more money. You understand? So what I understand, so the star do mix up on them thing about. You know, what man that's on a bugle say about. Only can tell me if you feel like at this them this cartel for a post about Amari, you know, I, I want to go against Vibes Cartel, is it? Let me know in the comment section, alright? So the next thing we're gonna talk about is popcorn in Portland. And as I say in the intro, somebody put out a video seen over upon TikTok, but it was shared over upon Pink Wall. And it's like um they must say popcorn can range of a breakdown you understand my people but the way the person attack you know it's almost like them when i say them happy about the person attack about it like say care can any care can break down you know you understand what i say so i don't know if the person is not a huge fan of popcorn or whatever but as far as my seat any single car can break down, whether it be a Range Rover, can be a BMW, it no really matter about. I'm going to show you the video, and only can tell me what you're thinking. You understand? Watch this. Popcorn in Portland today, his range went Yo, out of Papa, data. <laughs> Two range them. Poppy and the range them. What is it? Poppy range broke down in the road, dog. Tick tock this, you know. Tomorrow, man, you get licked, you know, brother. <laughs> hey, Papi, there. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, no, no, I'm in there right now. Me am I? Me am I? Me am I? Me am I? Papi, I That guy broke down, bro. Why service? That is it, man. Yeah, man, so as I say still, you know, I don't see the big excitement, you understand? All for me, I don't even think I take out my phone. Not think, I don't take out my phone and video. What I have video for? You see, I see artists in a real life and I just walk past them. You know, them things are really nothing for me. And it almost looks like you yeah, bring down the person. You understand? I see people have video, like man, like BMW, run out of gas and, you know, 
I guess I just kind of different still. Here's it. Any of my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice defending Janelle Bramfield, right, with Jamaican athlete. Now, you know, yesterday Janelle Bramfield forward out and she posted some stuff on her Instagram page. Basically, she highlight the type of stuff that she's currently facing, right, in relation to her dating the US printer Noah Lyles. And you don't know... Most of us are supposed to know the story where she shared some information with him and he came out back and sp spoke about it during a recent podcast. Some people have said, why she go back and tell him them thing there? She no fear tell him them something. You see? Now, what for remember, say, Noah Lyles is her man, her boo, her baby, anything you want to call it, right? And she support him right through the Olympics recently and him show support to her. Zane and Thomas it, you know, look like nothing can break them relationship apart. So, you don't know what if a Jamaican start this or start talking about her color, talk about her head dry, she black. People even go as far as we send D E A T H threats against her. Say if she come back to Jamaica, they might go analyze her, which is very sad because I don't think it should reach to that level. If you feel a way about she tell no lives, cool. But you can't threaten the girls them way they or the girl them way they. I hope she tell the police and show the the police, the person, the PH, where I send them threats there. Anyway, my people, um, Spice go live now, and Spice are different her, and Spice had a lot to say, because Spice also, in the past, got through the whole colorism thing, where people care about she black and this and that. So, you know, she can kind of um, reflect upon... Not reflect, she can, um, she understand what Junella got through then, basically. You understand, my people? So, I could play that video here now, so I can hear what Spice Officer. And as usual, my people, only can tell me when you think about this in the comment section. Mm -hmm. I'm here to talk about some comments that I see posted from our athlete, our own kind, our Jamaican, Junelle Broomfield. Now, most of you have been seeing the comments, and when we talk, I'm going to talk about women and know about. So, I'm going to talk about. The history where it start from leading up to the comments now you guys from jamaica said she sell out jamaica because she tell her boyfriend about some other jamaicans athletes or whatever the case may be right that's that's full of take on it right that's what i say we just want to we not see the comments but we want to get down to the nitty-gritty of what you guys are claiming it to be so her boyfriend, I guess, come out and do an interview and say he know some things for some people because Junelle tell him. My two cents and my take on the situation is Noah, the boyfriend, he should have never repeated what Junelle told him because that is pillow talk. So me I start from the nitty gritty. Now, cause when me I talk, me not put my mouth at ground and talk because me I come to Uno when me see the comments them. I, my taking it, I feel like Noah, the boyfriend, he should have not repeat what Janelle told him because that's a pillow talk. But at the end of the day, me want to talk to me now because I want to crucify Janelle, I want to chastise her, I want to say she shouldn't tell the man and she this and she that. The whole we talk to a man. The whole we pillow talk. The whole we talk to the man. So who she should have talked to? The woman talk to her man just like how you talk to no man. The only wrong thing and only difference is the man should never come out and repeat what they spoke about. Now, even if the girl pillow talk and it come out, where complexion have to do with this? What Janelle complexion have to do with the fact say she pillow talk with her boyfriend? Where color have to do with it? Because we, we get to the comments you now, but we want to break down where it start from. Because I don't want to feel like I talk from a place where I don't know. So we are break down everything. Because the problem is Jamaica who no need to do better. And I'm going to explain to you why you no need to do better. This way beyond Junel. It way past her. It deeply rooted. It go far beyond her. But you go use Noah, if you make it seems like say, you don't have a scapegoat and a reason because you are so hypocritical and uh, hate to know each other so much that you just want one little thing to come attack with complexion. 
Yeah, man, so big up Spice. One thing she got to do, you know, is support Janelle Bram feeling and why? Because Spice can relate to being called all sorts of names about her complexion, you understand? And the thing about it, you know, right, if me have a problem with something, let's say me never like what Janelle Bram feel do, I will never bring in her complexion about she too black, she too this, because I am a black man. It sounds so weird when... <laughs> When somebody black, I call you black. It's just so weird, you understand? I can't understand if a white person say it, you know. But when it comes from your own kind, because if you're, if you're brown, if you're a brown complexion, you're still black. Because in a slavery time, I'm pretty sure if you're not light skin, close to white, you still would have to out in the field, a, a, a pick out whatever the slave master would want you to do. But anyway, my people, uh, let me know anything about what Spice has said in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Chanel Muir ex-man Chavis. Basically, I reveal how much he misses his girl, or ex-woman, I should I say. And you know, I'm going to talk about a bag of things, my people. So let me actually get to this story. So I understand what's going on, is it? So it's a Chavis misses Chanel Muir from your left babes. Me not change the sheet. Following the resurfacing of a video of dancehall top girl Chanel Muir twerking on stage to one of her raunchy songs, her ex fiance Chavis, who is also called Mr. Coffee, took to social media to express his affection for the Moby artist. In a video now circulating online, Chavis states, Jano babes, you know, say, me have to tell you the remedy. You have to go tell me the remedy because from your left babes, me not change the sheet on the bed babes. See all them pictures. Picture upon the dresser, babes. He continues. So I'll know me not remove them, babes. Sister, I'm afraid to touch the picture of them, babes. Me never afraid so yet. Muir, who recently celebrated her 27th birthday, was engaged to Travis. However, things turned upside down seemingly in early 2024 after the 2023 announcement. In May, she added, hold back your ring in a song and made an IG post with the caption, a so single life did nice. Yes, my people. So that's our Travis, Travis officer, a Miss Chanel Muir and thing. And I really feel like he's sorry, my people. Honestly, I feel like him not do it for views or troll. I feel like him genuinely miss her. Because Chanel Muir, I one of them girls where I feel like I want a nice girl, I want a good girl for her. And if she love you, it should seem like the type of woman when she loves, she love hard. You understand what I mean? Although I don't know her, I mean, I try if it sound like me, I pick up for her. But just based on how she move and them things, you see it. I um, like the way how she carry herself. She not X-rated certain way. Yes, it. Even though she have X-rated song, but the way how she carry herself, I like it. Yes, it. And I think that is that has something where she do different from the rest of female artists. Them. But let me know anything about Travis. I tell Chanel me say Miss her. You understand my people? Leave it in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Vibes Cartel, who is currently on his way to Jamaica, or maybe back in Jamaica already. But but you don't know. We have a video with Cartel, his attorney. Uh, Marlon Samuels, his wife, an ex female was there. The trainer who did a work with Vibes Cartel while Vibes Cartel over there, him the day in the plane as well. And you know, Cartel put out a video and make the people them know, say, yeah, man, we're there, we're there, we're there and we're back to Jamaica or something like that, my people. So let me run the clip here and yeah, that's it. Mm. It's recording. It's recording? Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know, we just a land back in a Jamaica from St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. Don't know, the iconic mall and Samuels. I want that. Alright. I sat round on one part. <laughs> Buffalo round on one part. Bad trainer. Two beautiful ladies right here in the middle. Harris. Oh. And London. Oh. Now. Oh. <laughs> we out. Yeah, my people, so that's what's going on with Vibes Cartel. Oh, I also see our next video with Cartel, and this is while he was over in St. Vincent. You don't know him, I share some words of advice to the youth. Them. I'm like the positive words with Cartel been sharing since recently. I make the youth them know, say, yo, when they stay far from prison, prison is hell, or like a hell. You understand, my people? And obviously, Cartel has never been to hell before, but just based on the treatment and where you go through, it's not nice. You understand? So some youth might think that prison are there was. Hmm. Listen to what Cartel have to say again. Life, music, and This is Vibes Cartel and Kiga with a message for the youths in Cartel. Always remember 
stay positive, stay humble, listen to your parents, honor, discipline, hard work, and integrity. Right? Exactly. And the sky is the limit. No? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my people. So that's what's going on. And big up to Vibes Cartel. Let's continue to be an advocate for youths them stay far from prison. I think Vibes Cartel would make a good advocate because him go there first hand. And obviously, him they want to see back. You understand? It is obviously a different case from Jack Yor, who got prison, know the hardship of prison, and got foreign, got the foolishness, or got get himself involved in it. Whether him start it or not. But, you know, I end up back at prison again. i am sure, I'm 90% sure it's a cartel. Nasty back prison, <laughs> you understand? I mean, I wish it back on him. Any of my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Next thing we're gonna talk about is ex police and sting promoter Isaiah Leng Facebook page being hacked. So let us get to this story. If you can tell me if you don't feel like say I threw the whole cartel and Leng situation, why somebody hacking page anyway? It says Sting Facebook page hacked. Sting announcement that their Facebook page, which has over 31,000 followers, has been hacked following the announcement that Vibes Cartel will be keeping his first show in December. A buzz has been generated around the name Sting online in recent weeks, with many persons suggesting that the show will be unsuccessful because most people will be going to Vibes Cartel concert. In a recent interview with the Jamaica star, the promoters of Sting expressed that the DJ should have chosen another month. Furthermore, it was suggested that the artist perform a night on Sting since the show is expected to run for three nights this year. The most popular new surrounding the most popular dancehall show on earth is that one of its social media pages was hacked. Our Facebook page has been hacked at 30,000 followers posts being made Posts that are being made are out of our control. A statement read, after making a post on December the 31st of 2023, posts of performances from the show page became active again in June of 2024 and has been posting frequently since then. However, the news posts are random and are not Sting related, while the display picture remains the Sting logo slash sign. So yes, my people, I will a random post is being made over upon the Sting Facebook page. Now, I don't know if, you know, the person who at them page does vex because they might try, well, not try, because of the whole cartel thing or whatever. You understand? So I don't know, but only can tell me when you think about this in the comment section yeah, my people. And that's it for the video, you know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself. Until I drop the next video, I'm out.